It's like I'm like a moving body bag towards me. I hope it's a moving body bag. That'd be really cool. Body bags are piled up here. The dead bodies disappeared. Well, coming this way as the blood trail shows. Zombies ain't zombies. You don't see that every day. Oh, he's a fast zombie. He's fast for no reason. I knew he's like one of those super tough zombies. The ones that have more health and whatever for no reason. Wait for a slow and brethren to come up to me. Ah, you know what? I can leave you alive. I'm just gonna take this. Yep, I'll take the glass. I knew it. Love it. Since you're being eaten by a super zombie, does that make you a normal zombie or a super zombie? Uh, nope. Ah, try and stay dead. Oh, it was fun music while it lasted. Now let's use this. You know, you really don't see zombies eating zombies very often. That was kind of a kind of a thing. I think it's the only time that I can think of in the Resident Evil series of a zombie eating a zombie. It, okay. Glass I go. Well, I guess I do see the way. <laughs> cha cha. No heartbeats though. So you know it can't be that bad. I hate not having my lighter sometimes. Hey, you know, in case I want another green herb to go in my collection. There's only throwing a lot of green herbs at me. Uh, no. Thank you, baddie bats. Maybe knifing bats would be effective. I'm not certain though. They didn't really do much damage. Oh. I'm just wasting so much pistol ammo right now. I think the zombies are all more grouped together than they have been previously. I was really happy when he wouldn't do that. The last one I can probably knife just fine. Fine with this. Now come here, sir zombie. That was a lot of loot groaning. There you go, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I like how the Resident Evil games with the dead, they still quiver up to the dead. Do we have another torture chamber uh, theme going here? Strange devices are on display here. You sure, I, I, they kind of look like handcuffs and stretching devices to me, but okay. Can I take the bottle? Oh, there's hanging ammo, I see. I'll take the hanging bullets. A curtain? That's actually a door. Before I look at that, though, I'm gonna look around here. Ah, bogan arrows. But combine those bogan arrows with my bogan. Save some space. Looks like a door. This, this actually is a door. What, did Alfreds believe in witchcraft or something with all these, like, that's one of those grounding torture things. I wonder what this weird device was used for. Oh, that's a weird. I, I thought it was a door, to be honest. What do I know, I guess? Let's take a peekaboo over in this direction, though. I want to go down to the basement. Yeah, this door looks more right than the red velvet door I was just looking at. Even the red velvet door is like a trap or something. Let's take a look. A thick curtain has been dropped down. You could... I guess she's gonna say she can't move a curtain. I mean, I'll give her this. Curtains can be difficult to move sometimes, especially certain specific, like, fire curtains, but... Not possible.
Now, uh, what are they doing in the basement? I like how even how this game is just full of like artistic type stuff, if that makes any sense. Even the weird deranged areas have some sort of artistic sense to them. Just statues, paintings, weird attractions like curtains that we just saw. The stone statue is holding some armor. You're holding a shield. The stone statue is holding a shield. Obviously I see the thing that's glowing, but the stone statue is holding a helmet. Alright, you want me to take the sword? I know. The stone statue is holding a rusted sh uh, sword. Take the rusted sword. This so seems like a trap. But I'll take it. You've taken the rusted sword. Now is there going to make some trap to this? Probably. Use. So it's actually holding a shield. I haven't saved in a while. But the only there's not like a save station really close either is the problem. In fact, there's not a save station for a long while. Ah dear. Am I supposed to push this when it comes? Do I need a false sword to put in? I can't think of anything which I have except like a false sword. I'll look up here for a second. Nothing's going to align this. I can fall sword. I'm just going to check everything around here. Curtains down. Like, seriously, no swords? Okay. Guess I never check out the wire cage. Because I can't. Well, I guess I just have to try and tackle the scene. Obviously a thing that looks like I can push comes up after I fill the room with poison. I can't think of anywhere this had any sort of sword. I mean, let's go through something to this puzzle more than I realize there is. The stone statue is holding a helmet. Though it might be just as simple as, you know, the sword comes up and I push the shield? Alright, we're gonna try this. Hopefully it goes out okay for us. I bet it won't, I bet we're gonna die. Still though, I'll take the rusted sword. What do I need to do besides this? I'm pushing it, I'm pushing it! that easy. This seems needlessly complex. Oh, I wasn't either. Which one of you guys turned into a... Oh, Dura, it was you. <laughs> I wasn't even looking in the middle. The statue is made of iron. There's a hole in its chest. Let me guess, I stuffed the sword into here. That was cheap game. Take the piano roll? I don't even know where this goes. Back through here. Now, let's see. The currents. Is there going to be more zombies? Nah, there's probably not more zombies. Current's not up, but I know exactly where this piano roll goes. However, though, because that current is not up, it means I'm gonna have to probably come back here eventually. Yay! Run, Claire, run! Piano 
Coral should go back to the casino and hopefully it gives me something nice. I'm only on caution, I'll be fine. I've got like three green herbs right now. Not to mention, there's actually a first aid spray nearby here. I'll have to remember there's a first aid spray which I can access if I'm a little bit careful. There's a new zombie over here. This zombie was not here last time. I was going to. Fuck, there's a third one. That's not what I wanted at all. No, I'm not going to face your army of the dead here. Oh, I'm on higher cost. I actually haven't checked back here either. Keep out. Which means I'll go straight in. Zombie in here. Take some hanging bullets. Ah, like oh, they're on the cage door outside. Nice little touch, I'll give him that. Something is stuck, the door won't open. We all see what's causing it, silly. Is that an item inventory thing? I think that's an item inventory thing. Such a random placement, but I'm not complaining. Green herb there. Put this big old gun in there, and that should be good. <gasps> Wait, I know where this goes. Holy hell, it took me a second to put it together. That means I... Yes! Just... That is kind of nice for developers. In fact, a little bit too nice, if I'll be honest. I'm not complaining, though. That's a nicety thing to do. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Alright. I will take the first aid spray. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back for one more thing. Actually, I'll do what I want to do. Combine this with that. And now I'll take the last thing for the moment so I don't have to backtrack too much. Main lock for rounds obtained. Alright. That makes security bypassing extremely easy. I'll stuff some of the more useful things I picked up away for now. I gotta add more ink ribbons to the ink ribbon collection. Don't we all? Alright, let's book it back out, see if we can return where we came from. Only a small army of the dead wing for me. I passable. Can't go that way, we have to go longer what route. Now, are they gonna change something up? Nah, they'll probably keep it the same. Maybe. If they had to throw more of those lawn arm monsters, I'm not looking forward to it. But the piano roll obviously goes back to the casino that we went earlier, and I bet they'll give us a clue for the main palace. to avoid more of those beautiful lawn art monsters on my way back. Should be a total of two. Two lawn art monsters. Ah, 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 ah. La, 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 la. My prediction is that we'll probably get there fine, but maybe get hit once or twice by those lawn guys. Especially since the, the, I don't have the stair infinity frames to save me this time. Oh, I, 
dodge them just fine. Surprisingly. I almost got it a few times there, but hey! Went through unharmed. I'm not complaining, but I'm kind of surprised that more monsters haven't spawned in the front yard of this palace. Greetings! You must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost, coming back to haunt your dear brother. Whisker? It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. Now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. I despise Chris. Uh, what are you gonna do to him? Appears you may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. God, guys, Wesker is not dead. I bet no one knew that. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's something which I want to say about um, the Resident Evil creators. They do a terrible job of not spoiling their own games. I mean, Wesker was on the fucking title screen of this game. He's on the box art. So obviously we know he's in the game. I mean, it's like, <gasps> He's in the game? I, I couldn't tell. He was on the title screen. And he was on the box art. Oh, don't. The second thing which I want to say, because keep in mind this is when they do the big reveal, <gasps> Wesker's not dead. Code Veronica was the game which changed the canon and changed it so that he never officially died and then all of his appearances after this point. Um, the other thing is obviously that like every game after Code Veronica makes it painfully obvious that Wesker's still alive, so yeah. Um, then, like, there's other things. It's just that the series... This is one of those series that if you don't want to be spoiled on previous entries, I seriously suggest you just start from the beginning and go through them like that, because this series, t more than a few times, spoils previous entries. It's just a passing by. Mm hmm I sometimes feel like it's the duties of the newer games to try and spoil the older games for you. Anyways, we have the piano roll. Anyway, and also this is also where Wesker gets his little Matrix powers and all that. Did this movie happen before the Matrix? I don't think it did. Movie game! Game! Like, I think the first Matrix film was a 1990s movie, or were they all 2000 films? Because this game released in 2001st, so... I'm pretty sure that Wesker was inspired by the Matrix. Yep, Wesker's is the Matrix's number one fan. Uh, let's see. Alright, 1999 was the first Matrix film. This was a 2000 game, so there's definitely a chance that Wesker was inspired a little bit by that, but only a little bit. Anyways, it's still piano roll. Who wants the best could be that uh, one melody again? Whoever knew gambling was as easy as playing the piano. That doesn't seem like much of a gamble. Let's see. 
take the keen ant object? You know I will. You've taken the keen ant object. It's a nice melody. Yeah, I give it to that. Let's see. You know what the funny thing is about people saying they've never seen the Matrix films? Neither have I. I mean, I saw part of the first and part of the last films, but I never really sat down and watched all of them. I, I still agree, it's a random casino. Alfred and Alexia don't strike me as the type that would keep a casino in their midst, but I guess they do. Well, I maybe gets the money, what do I know? Pretty good, though. My super healing items, I'm gonna go this way. I'll be wise and save my game. Humbug and all that. He's an ink ribbon and let's save here. Magical ingredients back where they belong. In my item box. Now back to the castle. I think I've come to like Wesker more over time than when he first <gasps> fuck. Than when he first appeared. If I'll be honest. Like originally I wasn't that fond of Wesker and the appearances that I saw him in. But I've come to like more over time. Here's a good question for those in the chat. And I'll do this in a poll form because to be fancy and all that. What is your favorite appearance of Wesker? I can write that down. Best Wesker game appearance. And let's see. Let's go Resident Evil 1 0. Because he changed voice actors a lot. And that also includes remake. What we're playing right now. Code Veronica. Do you prefer his shady corporate look? Shady Resident Evil 4 Umbrella Chronicles? Uh, or I guess the last one would be Resident Evil 5. Favorite form of Wesker, because he does slightly change his uh, attitude through the game, so yeah. Out we go. To the castle. Of the Ashford family. I don't like how they, they don't show you the castle anymore when you're coming up here. Right side, these monsters are fucking dead, so my tat job will be. <gasps> no! You are fucking shitting me! Why? I'm out. Now this place is zombies. They just love me, don't they? Apparently they've done some enemy redecorating since I last showed up. For better or worse, I'm just gonna skip over everything. There we go. Though if I have to get back out of here, it's not gonna be easy. Knife. Jesus, he chose one of the worst spots to fall down in. Oh wait, there's another one? This isn't worth it then. Oh, but I can't run by. This is so bad. Yes. Well, I guess I made it pass. You know what, you know what? You guys are gonna have the fucking rage of my handgun. At least one of you are. There's a third zombie coming up. Totally worth it. <sighs> Just gonna have 
to uh, get myself some face palms for how much I'm wasting here. Anyways, the blue ant goes here. Blue ant goes here. That's the king. The king gives me... Music box is open. It, yes, I know, but what's that sitting in the music box? You're just going to tell me that's a natural thing? Okay, game. I mean, I'm not the only one who thinks it looks like there's some item there, right? That toy looks like an item, but I guess it's not. What do I know? Uh, there's at least one more zombie left. If I'm lucky, I can knife him, but I might have to gun him down. I've also noticed this is the first Resident Evil game where a shot like a... No, a shotgun. Yeah, shotgun has not been given to me. Come here, zombie nah, guy. Ah, I messed up that. Really? You should have been stunned by that, at least. Well, all the zombies in this hallway are dead, at least. I don't have anything for the queen, though. If I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing now. If nothing here is opened up. I'm assuming that most likely I missed the red queen jewel bug somewhere? Where, though, I'm not 100% certain. Maybe I just go backwards with some cutscene triggers. Maybe? That's what I'm hoping. I'm gonna gamble on that. Common picture. Glad to know it's common. You know, Claire, the expert of p fucking paintings, apparently. Her and her artistic senses. Okay. Oh, well, I actually kind of think of it, since all the zombies have showed up, all the bats have disappeared. So that's kind of nice. Uh, apparently I'm going to have a lot of zombie makeout time before I get out of this place. Maybe it's this giant statue somehow. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with that. Just been thinking that giant statue does kind of stick out just a bit. Is that the door? It's been completely broken. I can't pass through here. Good zombie with sunlight. That was actually incredibly easy. Anything about these? No. I have a bad feeling that I am a little bit lost here. In terms of what I'm supposed to be doing, at least. Marble desk. Some vagary inch placed on it. There's nothing useful here. I should have pulled out my bow gun before I went outside, because I think I'm gonna take care of those uh, long arm jelly bean monsters, whatever the fuck I want to call them right now. Not worth it, not worth it. I'm gonna use this ladder stair thing to my advantage. <laughs> Come on up, the water's fine. This one wants to show up too for a little bit. I hate those things so much. But hey, I took care of them again. You know, they just respawned before, which is fucking bullshit. Uh, someone's saying I forgot the ladder where the Red Queen is. I have not forgotten the ladder, it's just that whenever I try to climb the ladder, it tells me I can't go down up there. Uh, you know what? Just for my own sanity for a second. Combine this with that, and a knife. I tried going up there a few times. That's what I was gonna say. It's been said it was sealed multiple times when I tried going up it. Hmm. 
but the hole in the ceiling said that it was sealed and I can't go inside right now. I'll show you what I'm talking about, but that's what it said before when I tried entering it. When I checked again after I put the blue king down. I'm assuming I need the red queen to show me the way, but I don't have the red queen on me, so yeah. If you try going up here, try going up to the ladder, the hole in the ceiling has been sealed. Because we need to find the Red Queen. But I have no idea where the Red Queen is right now. This is going to have me scratch in my head for a little bit because I honestly have no idea. Doesn't sound like a bad idea, but it does seem kind of out of the way, so yeah. You're saying this is the best looking of the old Resident Evil games? Well, that's kind of obvious because this came out after all the other old Resident Evil games. It was the last out of the old classic Resident Evil games outside of the Outbreak games. The Outbreak does look nicer than this one, too. It was running on more powerful hardware. Keep in mind all the other old Resident Evil games were made for the PlayStation 1. This one was made for the Dreamcast. Like something here? An assortment of creepy dolls are showcased here. Perhaps these are to the liking of the Resident. I guess they do like their dolls now, don't they? I have no idea supposed to be doing right now. I think it's going to have feet there. Any like thing under head under the staircase? Let's take a look around. armor on display here. They appear to be very old, but nothing useful. In this mill, the mill they say it's one of the mess around here. A fireplace. There is a plentiful supply of firewood here. How they make you look at the fireplace is a bit suspicious, but I don't have a lighter, so I don't know what they want me to do. Let me heal these in this for the moment. I'll be honest, I think that Code Veronica has one of the best Resident Evil soundtracks. Then again, uh, my opinion for a second, we're talking about Resident Evil music. In my opinion, the best Resident Evil soundtracks are given to, and in no particular order, it really just depends on particular um, taste here, and this is just my taste. I think that, and some people will disagree with my list, some people think that Resident Evil 2 has the best soundtrack, which I think has a good soundtrack, but I don't think it's the best of the series. The best for me are tied between Code Veronica, Outbreak, Dark Side Chronicles, and Revelations. I think those four have the best soundtracks in my opinion. There's nothing useful here. Dark Side Chronicles is kind of cheating, because it has Resident Evil 2's and Code Veronica soundtrack, just remastered, even the new songs like them are pretty good in my opinion. My opinion. Um, by the way, when I said appearance, I didn't mean Wesker's appearance physically, I meant appearance as what games he appeared in. Well, it's not in here at the very least. The fireplace is having a bit suspicious, but I don't have a lighter anymore, so that's probably not it. Let's listen to Mac camera angles. Marble desk, and figures, and images are placed on it. Nothing useful though. I will admit this giant doll statue thing in the middle has me still a tad 
tad suspicious, but at the exact same time, there's no way for me to reach any of its components right now, at least. So. It has to be one of the bedrooms, right? Um, I have a tight interest in his Resident Evil 4, this time with Wesker, in his Resident Evil 4 Umbrella Chronicles appearance and his uh, Resident Evil 5 appearance. 4 and Umbrella Chronicles, I think he acts incredibly cool in both of those. In 5, he has a ton of memorable lines and is a really over the top villain. One of my favorite lines they ever said, Your future hinges upon this fight. And then he kicks you through a door and kicks the door off his hinges. <laughs> it's really punny. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a music box, I know. Are we sure what we're supposed to be doing is inside this building? I, mean, I can't think of anything backwards, but I can't think of anything in here either, so... Someone saying Wesker for president? Well, you'd be lucky if the next Resident Evil live action movie has anything to say. Actually, I think I just spoiled part. That, I didn't say anything. Never mind. Okay, okay. So I like to call it fan fiction the movie, which was the last, as of the time of this recording, live action Resident Evil movie. And I don't mean to spoil it for people, but trust me, you're not missing much with this one. In the fifth live-action Resident Evil movie, it's, I mean, the whole series of films are often like fan fiction the movie, but that one was the worst. Worst as in worst in terms of trying to take itself seriously in some form, way, shape, or form. It was pretty entertaining in its own sort of bad way, but the that particular movie is the movie where they're like, you know what, fuck it, let's throw all these random Resident Evil fan favorite characters that we haven't had in the previous live action films into a single movie and mix them all up and have a film that has almost no plot, just a bunch of character fan service scenes. Not fan service as in the semi nude type of fan service, I'm talking about fan service as in references to the games and references to the older movies. And honestly, the plot isn't that important, it just happens. But the most notable thing that comes at the very end when Wesker becomes the fucking president. And that, I'm not making up. At the very end of the movie, Wesker is the president of the United States of a zombie infection. And uh, then Wesker, Jill, Leon, or the fuck else is there at the scene, all get on the roof of the White House as an army of zombies comes towards it. That was the newest live action Resident Evil movie. And then the final, next film was apparently the final one, but I never trust with horror films of that sort, say they're the final film. I'm looking at you the final, final destination. Anyways, back outside we go. By the way, I'm gonna try and keep on topic of Code Veronica. On account that I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Are we sure what I'm supposed to be doing is in here? Again, I can't think of anything outside, but I really don't know what I'm doing right now. Um, I'll ask for advice in this particular in this particular moment. Where am I supposed to be going? I just came back from prison. I got the blue cane. I'm missing the red queen, which is shaped like an ant. The thing is, and this is where I'm really confused. I have no items. I haven't picked up any object to open anything up. I've used all my story items. There's nothing I've picked up which would be used on something else. 
And I've opened up almost every door of this place, and I think I've looked at every room pretty thoroughly. I might have missed something, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I've looked at everything. Well, I don't have the gold key, so... That's what I'm missing there. The gold key, that room is one room I don't have open, but I that's where I'm stuck at the moment then because I do not have a I have not found or seen the gold key. So yeah, I Apparently in the training facility Are you is there anywhere in the training facility I haven't been to? Well I guess our next stop is the training facility. Despite the fact I can't think of anywhere in the train facility which I can open up now. Actually, wait, there is one area of the train facility I could probably go to. This is, you know what, this probably is it. There is one thing I can think of. But it's just one single thing. Let's go. Oh, 